Broadcasting media is one of the fastest growing sectors of Pakistan's economy. The media journey begins with Pakistan Broadcasting Corporation set up in August 1947, right after country independence. In October 1963, state-run television established in Pakistan after 16 years of independence. During mid-90s, a growing demand for television news and entertainment in Pakistan paved the way to foreign TV channels through satellite dishes. Local news channels enter in arena in 2002 to regulate mushroom growth of private media channels government formed a regulatory body pamra in 2002 in last 7 years 77 satellite tv channels 129 fm radio channels have been established 28 landing rights permission licenses and more than 2000 cable tv distribution licenses have been issued media role in society is termed as watchdog The tremendous growth of media brings awareness in public and introduces accountability culture in system. Media became voice of people during period of political transformation in Pakistan. anchors are currently the heroes of many young people so there is certainly an attraction and there is of course a room for improvement uh, as far as uh, the experience is concerned the training is concerned there is also realization within uh, media as well but i think the things are improving and as things uh, you know progresses uh, i believe that uh, there are more experienced people more trained people certainly will come in this uh, profession a lot of young girls are coming and they are joining media they have plenty of opportunities they are doing reporting they are doing television programs and productions and now we have a uh, freedom of expression law and as well as the women harassment law so women shouldn't be scared to come out and work no matter what is and where it's happen pakistani audience can watch every event live on tv 2008 us presidential elections or haiti disastrous earthquake we are aware of every happening when i compare with the regional media i really found my pakistani journalists and pakistani media very sensible very uh, capable discipline and training will make the make a difference if uh, there are, there are training opportunities for the working journalist uh, inside the country and outside the country definitely there will be qualitative change however pakistani media is quite young and learning from experiences Sometimes media inaccurate reporting creates problems. TV channels sensationalist reporting often overtook accuracy. When you have uh, so much uh, news channels of course that you need skilled manpower and currently uh, pakistan is confronting with this kind of a problem but i must say that a younger generation is performing quite well of course that you see that nowadays there are a lot of young journalists uh, rapidly coming in this profession because uh, now uh, in electronic media you have uh, quite attractive salary packages and this is one of the reasons that uh, many universities now in pakistan are also offering courses in uh, media the mode of learning for media workforce is primarily on job training however with growth size of private media sector the formal media education is emerging it's a booming sector of economy in pakistan and according to rough estimates total investment in media industry crossed to us dollar 2.5 billion media boom create more than 150000 jobs directly and 700000 employment indirectly our country Uh, uh, is a poor country is a developing country and unfortunately because of terrorism we do not have you know the 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 the, the business opportunities and we do not have industrial growth we have industrial growth and we have a business opportunity there will be advertisements and in this advertisement you know the greater share will also go to the media and there will not be crunch 
So the financial crunch is because of the, the terrorism, the industrialization growth is not there, the business activity is not going well, and so many other activities are not going well. Like elsewhere in the world, journalists' job is insecure. In a country like Pakistan, the media owners are interested to have funds from the government in the shape of advertisements. Though there are some exceptional cases like Jio TV, one of leading media group in Pakistan, has come under a lot of government pressure in recent years. In Pakistan, the media continued to face restrictions on freedom of expression, and many journalists lost their lives, especially in the violence-hit tribal areas FATA and NWFP. The post-emergency period was worse for the media, with banning of TV channels and enormous pressure being put on journalists not to do anti-government stories in last dictatorship regime. Private media in Pakistan has become dynamic force in forming public opinion. Popular talk shows are more relevant for this aspect. Live with Talat is a largely watched TV program, receives lot of emails, letters and phone calls from viewers. Media did commendable effort in restoration of deposed judges sacked by former military dictator General Pervez Musharraf. Freedom of expression is there, but access to information which is fundamental right of human being is not being practiced. And sometimes journalists lost their lives in search of truth. This is very, uh, you know, the dark side of Pakistani media that, you know, there are so many restrictions on Pakistan, you know, on the, on the uh, information, uh, access to information and delivery of information. That's very unfortunate. And, you know, in Pakistan, we, we, we have seen very little democracy and we have seen very greater regime of dictatorship. And this is the result of that greater regime, greater period of, demo, uh, you know, dictatorship regime due to which we have so many laws. So we have civil laws, we have criminal laws, we have defamation laws, we have privacy law, we have, I don't know, there are so many laws. And these laws are not good for the, you know, for this, for the, for the media. Despite getting unprecedented freedom in the recent past to report on taboo issues such as HIV AIDS or unspoke defense budget, or telecast talk shows wherein every institution of the state is taken to task, including the military. The Pakistani media was not wholly free yet. The meaningful in, uh, freedom is one, you have an expression, the right to express, and you have the right to go to information, get the information. Getting information, even in today's Pakistan, is difficult. War on terrorism, political instability, and day-by-day -day developments in the judicial front has diverted media's focus from issues being faced by common people. Countries suffering 12 hours power outage, but political developments, celebrities and stars sidelined coverage of issues relating to the marginalized and poor. Indian tennis star Sania Mirza and Pakistani cricketer Shoaib Malik's love story is getting more space in news, rather basic issues of the people. <laughs> Social issues including health, education being covered but fail to get proper objectivity. If I did a report on the social issue, I didn't get this proper space to air on my television channel. So I have to do the political reporting, I have to do the parliament and I have to do the court reporting because people want to listen to these things. Investigative journalism also suffered due to this phenomena as well as due to increasing facility available to reporters courtesy the internet and mobile phones to file desk stories. Some key challenges journalists face included lack of job security and professionalism and respect for merit and quality. Pakistani media has realized its potential but still has a long way to go for country's development. Journalist capacity building, professionalism and freedom of expression can play a pivotal role to become the fourth pillar of the state. Shakil Ahmad, Aaj News, Islamabad.